Hi guys, Kirk here with Kirk Giordano Plaster. Today what we're going to do is a brown coat on a house. We didn't scratch it, but I'm going to take you back there and explain what the fellows previously did. This is what you got to get in order to get started. You have to have a big truck. We're going to use all of this today in my handy dandy mixer, of course. Just follow me back here, Jay, and we'll uh, walk you guys through it. now. Somebody mixed over here. I wouldn't mix on on brick. Now they got to put marotic acid and clean all that. I've done it myself once or twice in the last 30 years where we have stained this brick. It's no fun. So, best thing to do is cover everything. That's what we're doing. See that finish right there? That's what we're going to match today. That's a very, very heavy dash finish. Now this, this corner here is going to need a lot of attention. Nothing we can't handle. Um, over here, we've got electrical boxes and this pipe here. We broke out their scratch coat here and noticed that they did not use a polyurethane caulking around here. So since they didn't use a polyurethane caulking, we're going to go ahead and break this one out and the pipe. Makes sense. If they didn't do it here, they didn't do it here. We got a few issues here with their uh, vents. We're going to correct all that. Uh, we have a few issues uh, around the entire house. Uh, if you if, if you look up, like say right here, I'm not certain what the camera will show, and all of the next level, it's it's barely scratched. My mechanical bond isn't very well on the entire addition, uh, but nothing we can't handle. We're gonna. Uh, wet the wall we're gonna push it tight to give some kind of mechanical bond because they didn't do very well on that down here there's wires sticking up all over the place and there's areas that weren't scratched uh, we're gonna correct all that stuff uh, the fella here I bid this job two months ago and then the other fella came by and he bid it uh, contractor uh, like me owner liked him said he was charming so they hired him um, they called me back well, last week and it's been sitting this way for six weeks he called and said gee man they, they messed up a lot of things we gave him a sample board to try to match the finish and just couldn't match the finish uh, of course I couldn't help but say well at least he was charming anyhow we're gonna correct a lot of this stuff let me show you the back where where things like this you can see it a lot better on the other side it's uh, I'm not even certain how well that's going to turn out on the other side. Over here you can see that the scratch coat is, it was allowed to set too long and then they put some marks in here but it's its actually there is no mechanical bond. We should have our scratch like a quarter inch deep. There's one area like like about right here where it's done right. The rest of it there's very little mechanical bond. In showing you the, the finish, this last guy he, um, he did a sample himself and he kind of blew it because he did a sample to try to match this. This is a tunnel dash finish, a very heavy dash. You can achieve it by um, a pump. You pull the orifice off of the pump of the nozzle and you can get this finish. But it's got to be soupy because it's got to run down here. So we're going to show you how to do that today. Okay guys, now that we've broken this out, and put some polyurethane caulking on it. What I'm going to do is prior, because we're getting ready to do the brown coat here. And the mud I'm putting on right now, it's got accelerators in it, luminite. And so by the time I go to the top and we do our work up there, this will have had a chance to set. And that way, say, say, for example, this guy here, I just, browned, I just scratched it out. That will be set by the time we come down here in order to accept the second coat. This has aluminum in it, so again, I'm just giving it all a chance now to set with the accelerator. So when we come to that stage, when we come down here, we can bring it all down and brown this out. All right, guys, I promised I'd show you how we do this finish. And by the way, we're done with this wall, almost. We've got about 30 buckets of dash on it. And this is going to probably take about eight. Uh, what we do first is 
I have to hit it twice, otherwise I can't achieve that finish there. If you could zoom in there, Jay. Earlier it was, uh, um, you see how this, it looks like it's running. There's, there's water here, and when you, when you put your second coat, it's got to be wet, and then it just kind of falls down. Gravity pulls it down. So let's finish on putting here right now is my base coat, basically. You can call it a scratch coat. It's very heavy, and we just throw it on like that. And I've been doing this all for about three, four hours right now. Full bucket of mud, you just take it, you throw it in there, just like that. If any areas get kind of ugly, you can just hit them like that. You might say, well, why not just put it on soupy to begin with? And I'll show you, because here's the soup I'm going to use to match that finish. If you try to... This, this is my second coat, but this is not quite set. If you try to put it on soupy to begin with, you see how that's running down there. I actually want that to run down soon enough. Watch. Okay. You see, uh, you see it, the rivers are falling down, but now I'm left with nothing. So after I get my base coat here, then I start from the top, and I give it this second dash finish. And it's pretty soupy. It's much, much waterier. I'll start from the top, and after the base coat is on, which is this heavier aggregate and drier, then I can come with my follow-up, where I'll hit it, and it'll start to drag and fall down, just like over here. So I'm going to start at the top and bring it straight down, and then I'll match that finish there. All right, guys, I am done with my first coat here. And by the way, uh, this isn't a job where if you're afraid to get dirty, you're in the wrong trade because this, you get filthy. I'm taking my glasses off every five minutes, already about a hundred times and cleaning them off because it gets all over you. Anyway, that's the first coat and so I'm giving it about 15 minutes and I'm hitting my low spots and as soon as I get this wall kind of true and plumb, then I'm going to put that next soupy coat and just let it, the soupy coat will somewhat sag everything and that's what they have here. It's more of a, a sagging look. So We're almost there guys. Okay guys, we're complete with this uh, tunnel dash finish. My son says I look like a raccoon but it's honest dirt. And we're trying to beat the sun. I got about 15 more minutes before it's getting dark. We're all set. We're going to get out of here. We thank you folks for watching. We'll see you guys on the next one.